Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool falling platforms. It's a classic. Let's get to it. Oops, that's a script. That's not what we want. Still getting used to this new update. There's just things have been kind of moved around. Um, still, I'm still getting adjusted to it. So we're going to make a new sprite. And this is going to be a uh, platform falling platform and let's adjust the size to something more suitable for, for the aspect ratio of my game um, for the most part everything in my game is about a six to 16 pixel tile set so I'm gonna keep it around there and I'm gonna make some really simple art right now I'm not gonna um, spend too much time on this part this is really just so we have an idea of you know something to look at and we'll just make something real quick. I mean, it's kind of hideous right now what we're making here, but for the most part, it, it serves its purpose. We'll just do something like this. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine for now. So here we have a little platform and we'll look at the collision mask on this. And that seems fine. We'll roll with that. And let's make a new object. this in my world All right so we're gonna make a new object in here and we're gonna call this platform falling and choose that sprite that we just created there we go and I actually have some I have a controller that I've set up uh, block parent just for our collision just so that we can inherit and uh, inherit some collision code so we'll just do something like that and let's go ahead and run the game and just see what this looks like all right so the size seems fine and we have some collisions, so that's good. For the most part, everything seems to be working just fine, just as I expected it. So now let's go ahead and edit the object to actually uh, fall after a couple of seconds. And we'll start with uh, creating a step event. do quick quick error check here just to make sure that the player object exists before we do any of this code that's just a just got used to doing that for certain things just to make sure that uh, I avoid having any any issues and we'll check for collision first so if place meeting so y minus one basically puts us one pixel right above our platform and we're checking collision with the player and we'll just do a destroy there and let's run it and see what this looks like so if you notice typically I try to do things as uh, real simple as I can just to test things out and then uh, I kind of move on from there so this seems to be working okay uh, we're able to uh, destroy the platform as soon as we we land on top so that's perfect that's exactly the behavior that we were hoping for but instead of destroying it uh, we want to do a couple different things um, we definitely want to be able to have some kind of a counter so it doesn't doesn't get destroyed right away so Let's do, uh, and probably make it shake a little bit. So we'll do shake, shake uh, timer. And then we'll just start reducing it. And now's a good time to probably create that. So shake uh, timer, and we'll just set that to like uh, 50. Just to see how it feels. We'll probably change this around a little bit. So we're gonna start shaking it about here. We'll do X plus equals 
random range. I'll zoom in here a little bit. Somebody asked me to make this text a little bit bigger. So I just remembered, um, and I'll make it a little bit bigger for you. So random range, and we'll just do like negative one, one, just to test it out. So this, this should shake now. We're not gonna we're not gonna use the timer just yet. Just want to see how this works. All right, so we got some shaking. So we can see it shaking uh, there a little bit. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm good with that. So let's let's continue. We got a little bit of shaking going on. So what we want to probably do is start shaking it and then if the shake timer is less than or equal to zero, then we can, we can destroy it. So this, this should shake for a little bit of time or I guess 50 uh, frames and then it'll get destroyed. So that's perfect. It's exactly what I was hoping to achieve. But if you notice, the shake timer only works um, while I'm on it. So it actually stops counting down. It looks like the counting, the counting down only happens while I'm on the platform. And I don't know that I like that. I think I'd rather have it so that as soon as you uh, you make contact with it, it immediately just starts to shake. And even if you get off, it just breaks. Because right now it seems like the counter only works while I'm on it. Uh, and that's probably because of this, this line here. It's only running the code uh, when I'm making contact with the platform. So we might have to adjust that a little bit. And that's just my preference. I just remember playing these older games where if you touch that platform, that thing's fallen whether you're on it or not just because you touched it. And I think I like that idea. So let's make, um, I guess we can make a control variable. So if, if, we, if we touch it, if we touch the top of it, then we're gonna set, uh, break it to, uh, to true. And now is the good time to make that variable and it'll be false at create and then we're going to set it to true and then we could start the shaking so if break it then we can start the shaker and then destroy it so maybe so i think this is good i think this is enough to get it get it to uh, shake let's see let's run the game so we got some shake and it disappeared. So now let's try it again. This time I'm gonna jump off and yeah, it seems to work. Uh, I should be able to now jump on them and they're just going to break even after I'm off. So that's perfect. That's actually a little too short. I might make that 60. Uh, okay. But you know, instead of destroying it, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just have it like fall, like actually fall down. So let's do that. And I have an approach script that I got off the internet. It's been around for a really long time. I don't know who the original author is for it. Uh, I'm sure if you Google it, you can find it. But if you don't have the approach script, it basically looks something like this, where you, um, it's a simple function where you feed uh, a start and an end value, and then you shift it a certain, uh, increment so you can pause here and and write this out for yourself uh if you don't have it but what i'm basically doing is i'm approaching you know i start at zero and i'm approaching a uh, a value of 10 basically or a speed of 10 uh incrementing it by a value of five and that should move it down let's test it so now we're shaking and yes yes that's good enough for me. You could probably do a couple more things with yours. 
Um, you know, you could do so many more things here. You can have particle effects, perhaps, like, you know, fall with it, or you can have you can have a new object be created that kind of breaks apart. I think that's fine for me, but we do have to update that art. So I was working on this art earlier today, uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is uh, this is a sprite. I use a sprite as a sketch pad almost. I just kind of sketch all my stuff here, and if it looks good, then I usually just import it. And and earlier today I worked on this uh, really simple. Uh, platform art, if you will, and I'm just going to copy it. Press Control C. Come over to my uh, Game Maker window, and then we're going to edit that image. We'll make a new layer and turn the visibility off on that. And I'm just going to import this in here. Let's just go ahead and auto trim it. And you don't have to actually keep this layer here. I just like keeping the old layer just in case uh, it's just you know, habit. And let's check out our collision mask, make sure it's still accurate. And I'm gonna go manual and I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. Just like around here. And already that looks so much better with this, uh, with this art. Let's go ahead and run the game and just see how it looks in game. All right, I'm really happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. I think, if anything, I think the shake might just be a little bit too much, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this. I'm actually gonna make a variable for that, and we'll do shake. Um, we'll do like shake strength, or just call it shake. Just keep it simple. And I'm probably just gonna do uh, like a 0.5 for now, and then let's line this up, and we'll replace this with shake. negative okay, this looks much neater and this seems to make this seems to make sense to me all right let's go ahead and run this all right oh yeah I like that much better much better it's very subtle All right, I'm into that. I think that looks pretty cool. I think I might polish this just a little bit more and perhaps add some particle effects to it, maybe some dust or maybe come up with um, a possible way to break that platform uh, up a little bit and just kind of leave a trail. Yeah, that might be something that I do, but this is a good start. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have a better way of doing it, yeah, go ahead. Let me know, uh, comment like subscribe all those things and let me know what you think let me know how you're doing let me know how you're using it or yeah if you have a better way to do it um i'd love to learn from you guys too so thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next video